Numbers chapter 8 deals with the Levites and their cleansing for the work and service to the Lord. It's that ongoing principle in Scripture of God using clean vessels in His service and in the service to His people. God wants them clean. God wants them holy. The chapter discusses instructions concerning lighting lamps and lampstands, then very specific ways that the Levites are purified and cleanse themselves. First light the lamps, then the cleansing and the purifying. It's a great picture of God revealing and exposing our need with the light, then cleansing and using our life for His service. You see, this cleansing and purification is done in several ways. One is the sprinkling of water on Levites. This is done for them. Then they must themselves shave their heads and wash their clothes. This is done by them. The first part is passive. The second part requires personal participation and effort. And that's kind of the way it works in this walk with the Lord. You and I are cleansed by the cross, the blood of Jesus. I'm purified, I'm clean, but here's the deal. I must also do my part by working out my salvation, cleansing myself. It's kind of like Psalm 119.9, how shall a man cleanse his way? By God's word. This chapter details the service of the Levites and what qualifies them for the service in the house of the Lord. The Lord calls us all to be cleansed and to serve, and he will do his part. In fact, he always has, and we are called to do ours. Numbers is a great reminder of this principle in Scripture. God has done his part, and now we're called to do ours.